Welcome to Manga Experts. We are back with another top 10 recommendation list. If you like our videos, please leave a like and a comment of your favorite suggestions below. Without any further ado, let's get started. Number 10, Eternal God Emperor. Zhang Rochen, the son of Emperor Ming, was killed by his fiancée, Princess Qi Yao. Then, 800 years after his death, he came back, only to find that the one who had killed him had already unified Kunlun's field and built the first central empire, and was now known as Empress Qi Yao. Empress Qi Yao, Her Majesty, governed the mortal world and enjoyed prestige in all directions, as well as an eternal life. Zhang Rochen stood outside of the Imperial Ancestral Temple, looking at the statue of Empress Qi Yao, and the flames of hatred burned in his heart. Now he must focus on his cultivate to become stronger in order to take revenge on that Empress Qi Yao. There are many reincarnation cultivation manhuas with the same plot as Eternal God Emperor, but this manhua is way more polished than others. The art of this manhua is quite good. Fight scenes are portrayed very well. There are some generic arrogant characters here and there, but most of the characters are written very well. The story is also very good. The main character is a very rational person and plans out his every move carefully. All female characters are overly sexualized as usual. Number 9. I Stand Beyond the Heavens Main character dies and gets reincarnated inside the body of cultivator Ye Hai, whose spiritual essence has been sucked for 5 years by a snake demon, and he also gets a system after getting reincarnated. The system in this manhua is a son of the glitch. He can get quite annoying sometimes. Most of the time, he tries to scam the main character. The story of this manhua is a little bit better than an average trash cultivation manhua. The main character is also arrogant and ruthless at the same time. He is overpowered from the start and gets into fights every now and then. The art of this manhua is quite good. The best thing about this manhua is the fight scenes. If you are an action lover, then this manhua is for you. Number 8. Chaotic Sword God Remake Jian Chen is the publicly recognized number one expert of the Jiang Hu. His skills with the sword went beyond perfection and he was undefeatable in battle. After a battle with the exceptional expert Dugu Kui Bai, who had gone missing over a hundred years ago, Jian Chen succumbed to his injuries and died. After death, Jian Chen's spirit was transmigrated into a completely foreign world. Following an extremely fast growth, his enemies piled up one after another before becoming gravely injured once more. On the gates of death, his spirit had mutated, and from that moment henceforth, he would tread on a completely different path of the art of the sword to become the sword god of his generation. This remake has a better story and art than the original, which adds up to a more well-polished overall experience. The pacing of the story is superb. There are some really neat comedy scenes here and there. Number 7, Invincible at the Start. The main character gets transmigrated in a cultivation world and obtains an invincible field around him. As long as the MC remains in the field, he can kill pretty much everything in this world. As a nerd, Chen Chang'an facing countless monsters and ghosts from the outside world, Chen Chang'an decided not to leave his invincible field before becoming immortal. When he is bored, he occasionally raises a few cute and sweet apprentices, and accidentally cultivated them to become leaders in the spiritual world, which turned the world upside down. This is that type of manhua where the main character has a cheat and becomes overpowered from the start. This is more like I am a cultivation big shot. The art of this manhua is quite good. The story is also funny, but the characters are a little bit generic, especially the female characters. They seem too much forced and the translation is also not that much polished. Only read it if you are looking for a manhua with an overpowered main character and a little bit of harem. Number 6. The Great Devil Emperor Development System 100,000 years ago, when the human race rose, the new demon emperor Xiao Ting and the old demon emperor were bullied by the strong human race. The old demon emperor finally passed away in depression. Xiao Ting retreats in anger, vowing to protect the most precious treasure of the demon clan, the demon emperor Sutra, and vowed not to leave the customs successfully after his cultivation. In the 100,000 year, Xiao Ting accidentally cultivated the devil emperor Sutra with only 10 floors to the 99,999 floors. On the day of exit, Xiao Ting accidentally obtained the devil emperor development system. But the humble little system, seeing Xiao Ting, who was already at full level, could not assign him any tasks because he was already more powerful than the system. The manhua has an interesting and unique 
concept. Main character is overpowered from the first chapter and he does not depend on the system to get overpowered, like other cultivation manhuas, and it turns out that system are evil in this world. Number 5. I Just Want To Be Killed Yu Le got sent to another world after dying from overworking and got a golden item that every male main character gets a system. But Yu Le did not meet the requirement which means that he have to say goodbye to the system temporarily. To reactivate the system again, he will have to live this life with zero motivation. So, wanting to activate the system as soon as possible to get the ability to live forever, Yu Le has decided to court for death. But why is he not dying even when he's trying so hard to? Instead, he's becoming stronger. Main character wants to die so he can reincarnate in another world with the system. But he has too much plot armor and every time he tries to die, he is saved somehow. This is one of those manhuas where everyone including the MC think that they are weak but they are low-key powerful. The art of this manhua is good but also edgy at the same time. The progress of this story is very slow and the main focus of this manhua is the comedy. Give this a try if you want a comedic cultivation manhua with an overpowered main character. Number 4. All Hail the Sect Leader Main character gets transmigrated into the world of martial arts. There he is assigned a task by the system to make the Iron Bone Sect the strongest sect in the whole world. And he needs to gather 10 million followers within 100 years. If the main characters fail to accomplish these tasks within 100 years, he will get terminated by the system. While it is a cultivation story, the primary focus is humor. With that being said, the world building and character growth has been quite enjoyable so far. The action is also fairly good considering it still takes a back seat to the humor while the fight is going on. This is one of the few action comedy manhuas which perfectly gets the job done. Number 3. My wife is actually the empress. Main character got Isekai'd into another world. There he started cultivation and became the most powerful person in that world. After that, he joined the rebel forces to fight against the tyrannical emperor. After the emperor's death, the main character left the rebel army in search of a normal life. He met a beautiful girl and married her. It turns out that girl he married is the new empress of the kingdom. Both the main character and his wife don't know about each other's true identity. The story of this manhua is quite good. Art is nice on the eyes and fight scenes are portrayed very well. Characters are written very well and some characters are my favorite. This manhua is heavily focused on top tier comedy. Give this a try if you want something funny and easy going. Number 2. My senior brother is too steady. After being reborn in ancient times before the great god confirmant war, Li Chang Shou became a small cultivator. To survive in the cruel primordial times, Li Chang Shou tries hard not to accumulate any karma. He always plans thoroughly before doing anything and never allows himself to walk into dangerous situations. He hides his trump cards well, trains himself in escape techniques, refines poisonous pills, and masters mystical abilities. Li Chang Shou originally planned to remain hidden and safe in the mountain until his ascension to mortality. However, everything changed one year when his master brought home a junior sister. This is actually pretty good. The art is well polished but you can feel a little bit inconsistency during fight scenes but it is not that bad. The MC plans far ahead and is always prepared for any situation. The MC is not a generic harem seeking simp and he is also not a wimp. He also tries to hide his power from others. I recommend this decent cultivation manhua to everyone and a protagonist like this is hard to find in manhuas these days. Number 1. Damn Reincarnation Hamel was a warrior who traveled with his colleagues to exterminate the devil, but he died just before the battle with the devil started. He was reborn as the descendant of his fellow warrior, Vermouth. He is now Eugene Lionheart, the descendant from the bloodline of the great Vermouth. From a dying body to a new body, he has the achievement that he did not have in his previous life, and a reincarnation of an unknown origin, the reality of living together with the demons, facing a new world where everything is questionable. The journey of the unfinished previous life begins with Eugene's body. This is one of the best reincarnator type manhuas. The art is marvelous and the fight scenes are well portrayed. Characters are written very well and they are capable of using their heads in tricky situations. World building is also looking pretty marvelous. The story is also good and the plot moves at a nice pace. Main character is not a pushover and he also has a very likable personality. This is highly recommended for guys looking for a good noble reincarnator type story. Do you agree with our picks? Check out our other videos for more suggestions and don't forget to give us a like before going. Until then, take care and we will see you in our next video.